Christa Freeland, the Deputy Prime Minister, had an interview yesterday where she was talking about the vote for the upcoming capital gains. In fact, they took it out of their budget and want to have a standalone vote on this. And what is scaring and should scare all Canadians is the rhetoric that she continues to speak about how increasing Canadian taxes are the only way out of the doomsday that this government has continued to put us in. By the way, I really want to know your comments on this particular interview. I want to know what you have to say about what she says, because honestly, it's probably one of the most staggering things that have ever come out of her mouth. And on top of that, don't forget to subscribe because I've got to stay on this kind of stuff. So let's take a look at what she had to say. What kind of a Canada do you want to live in? Do you want to live in a country where kids go to school hungry? Do you want to live in a country where a teenage girl gets pregnant just because she doesn't have the money to buy birth control? Do you want to live in a country where the only young Canadians who can buy their own homes are those with parents who can help with the down payment? Okay, hang on for a second. Let's stop her right there. Okay, first and foremost, she talked about, you know, kids not being able to eat. Um, how long have you been in government? Nine years and you haven't solved anything yet? In fact, you've put Canada in a unbelievable amount of debt. You just increased our debt ceiling for the next three years to 1.1 trillion more dollars. You talk about birth control. How about you start focusing on families? Whatever you have to say about this is unbelievable. And talking about kids being able to afford housing, guess what? From day one, even 30, 40 years ago, parents still helped out with a down payment for first time home buyers. Let's see what else comes out of her mouth. Do you want to live in a country where we make the investments we need in healthcare, in housing, in old age pensions, but we lack the political will to pay for them? Well, hang on and for a second. Instead she says we lack the political will to pay for them. What have you done for nine years? You have, haven't been paying for anything for Canadians. You've gone around the globe spending Canadian taxpayer dollars and not even giving a second thought to Canadians who are putting the tax dollars in your pocket, which should have been reinvested in Canadians. Let's see what else she says. To pass a ballooning debt onto our children. Do you want to live in a country where those at the very top live lives of luxury, but must do so in gated communities behind ever higher fences using private health care okay. and airplane? Airplane, hang on for a second. We're talking to the lady here that has run around the world how many times in private jets? Okay, same with the PM and same with most of their staff running around in private jets, but she doesn't want to consider herself this. The prime minister himself is worth over a hundred million dollars. And all of that has come in from the last nine years. My question is, is, are you going to be taxed? The taxes that you're implying that we need to bring into place? Let's see what else she says. Because the public sphere is so degraded and the wrath of the vast majority of their less privileged compatriots burns so hot. This is a significant tax reform and uh, there is nothing out of the ordinary in presenting a significant tax change separately from the main BIA. It's also the case that this is a meaningful political decision for Canada and Canadians. It's a meaningful choice for our country. It's a meaningful choice for all of us about what kind of a country we want to live in. And this week will be an important political moment for our democracy. It will be a moment when Canadians will be able to see what each one of their members of parliament believes in and stands for. 
Exactly. You know what? The only thing that came out of her mouth is this week is definitely a test of democracy. I don't care what party you are part of at this point. This has to be voted down. Okay, this is so ridiculous. This has nothing to do with the rich. This has everything to do with middle class Canadians. It's not about segregation. This is about implying taxes at a whimsical way because they have spent Canada into an astronomical amount of debt. It's true. This is a week of democracy. The most important thing for every single Canadian is to make sure whoever their governing party is, is they vote this down. They took it out of their budget because they knew that they couldn't jam it through. Again, this government continues to, pass, uh, to, to punish Canadians. When is enough enough? You know what? This week, it's enough. They are not going to solve any problem. They talk about our astronomical debt. How did that happen? It's like they're taking no onus for the last nine years. They almost think that they're a brand new party that has evolved. Are you kidding me? You are the problem. You are 100% the problem. As Canadians, this needs to stop and stop now. Okay? They continue to say, yes, they're introducing, yes, it's a higher tax. The tax is not the solution. Getting rid of this government with their mandate is. Say no this week. Get everybody to say no. Pass this video on to as many people as you possibly can, please. As Canadians, we need to stand up. It's time that we are heard as Canadians. We need to watch out for us, the next generation. And this tax is only going to damage everybody else. They talk about the next generation you know, taking on massive debt. Where did that come from? The last nine years of this government have done it. One of the most important things that I always say to everybody, we have to stay strong as Canadians. This is not the Canadian way. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and love to hear your comments on what she had to say.